uh, put in the comment section below the kind of things that you do now that you've been on carnivore for a little bit that make you feel good every day. 40 years, everything I'd been told about nutrition was upside down and wrong. This is my carnivore journey. Good morning, everybody out there in carnivore land. How you doing? My name is Todd. Oh, or you can call me Moose. Don't care. <laughs> Whatever you call me. Just make sure you call me for your next meal. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, you know, man, the gym thing has just got addictive. It's, I think I'm bitten by the bug. I went again this morning. That makes three weeks going to the gym. Legs. But last night, I found myself kind of bored at work. So I went to the gym that they have there and I pulled out some weights and I was sitting where I was supposed to sit and I'm, I'm lifting and moving and and feeling and touching and like oh man look there's muscles there again I didn't know oh man that's been a long time since there's muscles there again and oh man I think I'm I think I'm bitten by the the weightlifting glove or a bug um you know, I have a hard time when I watch like these carnivore videos and these guys are like all, you know, way down and like skinny and six pack and stuff because I, I want to get down that way, but I'm just big. <laughs> I've got 52 inch shoulders and I'm six foot tall. So yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna be this little person um i'll always be big and and uh you know i just gotta deal with it and i think that's affected you know the the diet and uh things that are going on i mean i'm totally flat plateaued on on weight i'm stuck at 230 so i'm just stuck there but it's i think because i'm going to the gym and i'm lifting and i actually feel the muscles <laughs> my biceps my triceps my shoulders one thing i never worked on when i was uh, in high school and playing football was like shoulders, doing the shoulders and getting muscle out on the outside. And one thing that kind of slows me down is this elbow will, or this shoulder will click. But I, working out for me on the carnivore diet has just been phenomenal. It make, makes me feel so much better every day. Uh, and one, you know, one of the big things is that I just get out of the house. I wake up first thing in the morning, I get me a glass of water and I drink a little bit of water and and do the, the bathroom thing. Then I put my clothes on and I'm off to the gym. And I go to the gym and I work out, you know, until I feel done. I don't like go and just like blow my mind out, you know, and do all that nonsense. I go and I, I do resistance training till I feel the burn and I feel it working and I feel pumped up and I, you know, I feel really good. And then I go and and uh, come home and drink some more water and just smile. You know, it's just been a great thing going to the gym and getting out again. I paid for the gym membership for like a year. And I think I went like four or five times and just walked. It's Planet Fitness, so it's pretty cheap. So I walked on the treadmill a few times. But I don't even go to even get on the treadmill just to move. I go there and I start lifting. I, I don't look at people. I don't gawk I don't stare I don't see what lifts they're doing I don't care I just go there and do the ones that I want to do and when I started out I had to like retrain myself about uh how to lift so and I had to have like some kind of direction and not go there and just get all wild and do one muscle group all the time just I do PPL push pull legs but in between I'm doing, <laughs> doing other things now which is like you know, I, uh, I things that I wanted to do, but I never did. And I, today when I came home from the gym, then I sat here and I watched a, a video of, about a doctor talking about, you know, carbs and, and stuff like that, really educating myself on what's going on. And he was talking about, you know, the external fat, the fat that we see, like that's just right under our skin and internal fat. So like visceral fat. And he was showing, uh, x-rays of people with, uh, with internal fat and he and he was explaining all the situations i think i saw like three or four x-rays or uh, of different people and he just explained and he talked about 
like muscle movement and he showed marbling in people's legs from you know the carbohydrates that they pushed in their throat and that it it like went and deposited in their legs and the last like three or four days I've had just really tired legs until I went and did the the leg things today and I think that that's what was going on is I have these deposits in my muscles of that that visceral fat or the internal fat the the fat that's not good for you so then I keep thinking about when I first started and how bloated I was and distended in my my stomach area and how in just those few weeks that just dissipated and disappeared and that my my gut actually got like soft where I could feel the abs instead of distended and hard because that's one of the things that, that motivated me to find something to do and to change the way I was doing things was my nephew poked me in the belly and says why is your gut so hard and it made me think of a football coach I had and he was a farmer he was a dairy farmer but he was he had a, uh, a hard gut like that too and uh because I had pushed on him once <laughs> and he goes that's all muscle <laughs> and I was like Whoo, <laughs> I don't know but now you know with the discussion from the doctor and those couple of things it's just got in my mind about this visceral fat thing so you know I, I love the carnivore diet and I'm sticking with it I had a great week I had great workouts I ate some great food I ate you know great all week and you know just stayed flat <laughs> on weight but you know my shape is changing now I can feel muscles now I you know I'm, I'm gaining that muscle mass and the doctor talked about when he was uh, in full carb you know mode where he was eating a whole bunch of carbs that he was actually um, lighter than he was after he'd lost all the weight and gained the muscle so you know psychologically it just like wears on you that you need to lose weight because that's like the the major thing that people talk about is you got to lose weight you got to lose weight you got to oh i dropped all this weight well you know what i might i may stay at 230 but my waist will shrink and my muscles will build and i'm just going to be kind of a big kid <laughs> My mental ability, my mental attitude, my ability to recall facts now is, is so much better. Uh, you know, it's just been a great journey. And I'm almost at 120 days, the end of the month. <clears throat> I'll be at 120 days. So here we are on, I got to look, the 22nd. So I got a few more days to hit 120 days. And uh, just amazing. Just amazing. Three, four months, almost a half a year. I mean, just committed, eating meat, and, you know, the other thing he talked about was you could um, look at somebody and and tell the visceral fat in them, and he said by looking at their face, if their face was puffy, then the visceral fat was really, really a problem, and he used the example of, like, Sinead O'Connor, where she, in, when she was young, it was really thin and there was angles and stuff like that. And when she got older, right before she passed away, her face was really round. And then the doctor showed his own face and then showed his current face. And he said, when I was round like puffy in the face, I had visceral fat. But when I got the angly stuff, then, then I had lost a lot of visceral fat. He showed the difference between a uh, 60-year-old model and other people and how she had little to no visceral fat uh, just because of what she, her life and what she ate and what she was doing. And it was just amazing. And I think it's important for us to understand that because, you know, we hear over and over again, weight's not everything, but people post and talk about weight's everything, you know. So we kind of get that that those wires crossed that it's not really everything. In fact, just take the scales and probably throw them away and just get a tape measure or, you know, look at yourself. The measure, the measuring tape is probably the best because then you can see the reduction in your abdomen, the reduction in your chest or the build in your chest, the build in your arms, the, the legs. You can just see that. And I feel like I stand taller now and I sit straighter and I don't hunch as much. So anyway, but I've taken up a lot of time. And love you guys. Uh, put in the comment section below the kind of things that you do now that you've been on carnivore for a little bit that make you feel good every day. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Thanks.